てない。Turned pro 10 years ago, FBC, and then went to IFBB. Gave me great opportunities. Thank you, Jim Mannion, the Mannion, Steve Weinberger, the entire crew, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Well, congratulations on a well-deserved win. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Guys, what's up? It's Sadiq. Uh, by now, you must have heard or seen if you are following my channel that after five years of competing at the Olympia stage, I am now going back to the Mr. Olympia. And let's rewind a bit. I turned pro 10 years ago. Um, I've done 22 pro shows. I've taken a long hiatus from stage. Um, a lot of people were counting me out, um, saying, you know, hey, dude, like you're in the past, brother. Um, the division has grown without you. But what they fail to realize is that I've also grown. Um, so as my competitors were growing, I also was growing. Not only uh, my physique, but my mentality, um, you know, of getting healthier, healing, training every day, never missing a meal this entire time. And for anyone out there that has doubters, or maybe you're your biggest doubter, maybe you're your biggest critic, maybe um, your family doesn't believe in you, or maybe your friends, or maybe it's the social media, the bloggers don't believe in you. It doesn't matter as long as you believe in you. And even if you don't have a strong, overpowering belief, as long as you do the work. And when I say do the work, I'm saying as long as you are doing what you know needs to be done every single day to get you closer to the goal. You're not always gonna feel confident. You're not always gonna feel like you belong or you're not always gonna feel like your efforts are gonna pay off. But you need to treat every single day individually and focus on the things that you could control. And that's what I did the last few years, um, specifically in the last year. In the last year, I had a hell of a year. Um, not only did I become a father, started a family, um, I started my own protein bar company, not only that, but I requalified for Mr. Olympia after taking three years off the of stage and haven't competed in the Mr. Olympia in 2017. And that was a different division even. That was a classic physique division. So anyone out there, I just wanna encourage you, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Whether people believe in you or not, whether you have the right tools or the knowledge or the resources or the finances, just start with what you have. And along the way, you'll pick up new tools. You'll pick up new knowledge. You'll pick up new connections, um, finances. All that stuff's gonna come. And when I even speak about finances and resources, let's be honest. The best way to acquire finances and resources is to do what you're passionate about in the beginning. So for me, it's always been bodybuilding. It hasn't been um, you know, accounting or music or any of these other traits. It's always been bodybuilding. Um, and it's always gonna be bodybuilding. That's why I've had this long career where I've been at the top for so many years. And I'm proof that you could be at the top for so many years and then prove and get better. Um, not only to requalify, but to requalify at your very best. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of messages um, that I read on my YouTube videos, um, specifically on the Cellucor channel, that's where I'm releasing all this great content. Um, this is a good plug for you guys right now. Um, go ahead and follow the Cellucor channel because I'm releasing more documentary style videos on that channel and it's exclusive to that channel only. So that's where I'm really focusing the majority of my YouTube abilities at the moment. I'm still trying to give you guys weekly content to keep you guys motivated, but hit the link in the description, follow the Cellucor channel. If you support me, it's important that you support that channel and um, it's important that you support yourself. Um, with that being said, so like I said, man, just focus on what you can control. Um, age is just a number. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the game, you can always improve. Um, so I turned pro when I was 24 years old. I'm now 35, I'm turning 35 in June. 
And I know I have another 10 years to go because like I said, I don't give up. I do what I'm passionate about. And I want you guys to follow the same principles in life. It doesn't even necessarily have to be bodybuilding. Just whatever it is, if it's being a good son, if it's being a good husband, if it's being a good role model, if it's being good for your community, um, if it's being a good uh, dentist or a lawyer, could be whatever. It's just give it 100%. And the time is gonna pass regardless whether you do the work or not. So you might as well become successful at whatever you choose to do. This way you can have the life that you want. You can have the freedom. Um, you can have the pride, the self-confidence. Um, you can inspire those around you, your family, your friends. Um, I spoke about your community before, your community. You guys keep me motivated. Uh, I have days where I don't feel motivated, but seeing the messages from you guys really helps me uh, get me fired up. Um, also seeing the bad messages also fires me up. I use it as fuel. So keep on grinding guys. Stick to what you're passionate about. Put into work. The time is gonna pass regardless. You may as well give them hell while you're here because life is very short. Life is short and we already have a lot of critics and naysayers. You don't need to be adding to that or contributing to that with your own noise or your own thoughts. If you have these negative thoughts, erase them. Get to the gym, work on your craft, do what you have to do, replace those thoughts with confidence. Um, and I'm not the most confident guy. I'm not, you know, I still get nervous when I compete. I was nervous last weekend. I'm gonna be nervous this weekend at the New York Pro. Um, but, you know, I have confidence in the work, knowing that I left no stone unturned. No meal has been not eaten. No training session has been 100%. No injuries, knock on wood. And um, doing what I love to do, I'm gonna go out there and show the world what I'm passionate about and continue doing what I'm passionate about because life is short and people are following your example. I have a son now and every day I think about my son. I think about, you know, my son relies on me. My son is gonna follow my actions, not my words. He's gonna do as I do, not as I say. And I wanna set a good example for him as well as people out there that haven't grown up with a father. Um, you know, if you're looking for a positive role model, I'm not saying that I'm it, but I would like to be a source of positivity to anyone out there that wants to surround ourselves with the go-getters in life, the people that are out there doing it, living it day in and day out. And I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Please like, subscribe, and comment to this channel. Also, link in the description, like, subscribe, and comment to the Study Core channel. Part two of my documentary is gonna be released in a couple of days. So make sure you click that link in the description, follow the Study Core channel. Um, it's a channel I've been putting tremendous effort in, uh, time, attention, effort, finances, and you guys are gonna get something great out of that. Peace out.